Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you going today? Um, all right. So today we're going to continue our algebra factorization journey, and we are going to our title for today is factorize monic quadratic trinomials. All right. It's a lot. Let's write it down. So our title: factorizing monic quadratic. Uh, trinomials. So you'll notice that there's a lot of new keywords. So let's break down these keywords one by one. Okay, so we've got the four words factorizing monic quadratic trinomials okay so let's start off with a familiar word the factorizing word right so if you just it, it, ignore algebra for now so if you think about the word factorizing even if you're looking at just basic numbers right if i said well list down for me the factors of the number six you would say well the factors of six are one two three and six why because factors of 6 are numbers which multiply together to become 6. Because 2 times 3 gives me 6. So 2 and 3 are factors of 6. And 1 and 6 multiply to become 6. So 1 and 6 are also in factors of 6. So bringing this back to algebra, factorizing. So like what we've been doing for the last week. Um, if you're looking at the factors of an algebraic expression, it's what are the things that multiply together to become your original expression of interest. So, for example, in terms of algebra factorizing, you would say that like x plus 2 times x minus 2 are the factors of x squared minus 4. Because when you expand these two factors, x plus 2 and x minus 2, you get x squared plus 2x minus 2x cancels out, and then minus 4. So you get that difference of two squares pattern. Um, so you would say that x plus 2 and x minus 2 are factors of x squared minus 4. So x plus 2 and x minus 2 are factors of x squared minus 4 because x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2, if you multiply them together, you get the expression of interest of x squared minus 4. Just like how 2 times 3 gives me 6, and so 2 and 3 are factors of 6. So we would say in terms of algebra that x plus 2 is a factor of x squared minus 4, and x minus 2 is a factor of x squared minus 4. So factorizing, we're trying to look for algebraic expressions which we can multiply together to get our expression of interest that we want to factorize yeah now let's look at the second word of interest which is i'll do it in blue um it's called the quadratic it's not new we've seen it before so what is a quadratic so quadratic are algebraic expression where the highest power is two or squared so highest power of x is 2 or squared. Well, can't spell. Squared. So for example, x squared minus 3. That is a quadratic because the highest power of your variable x is 2 or squared. Um, for another example, x cubed plus x squared minus 1. Well, this will not be a quadratic because the highest power of this expression is a 3. So this is not a quadratic. Um, a quadratic could even be 5x squared minus 7x plus 1. So as long as the highest power of your variable x is a squared, or whatever variable you want, um, then it is called a quadratic. So this would be considered a quadratic. On the other hand, if it's just a single number of 2, I mean, it doesn't even have any x's at all, so there's no highest power of x, or the highest power of x is 0, um, then that is not a quadratic. So quadratic means the highest power of your variable is 2. So x, or variable, just got to add that node in. Um, 
the next word I want to talk about is let's look at the word trinomial and I'm going to use purple so the word trinomial right trinomial the the starting part tri already gives you a hint if you think of a tricycle I mean a bicycle has two wheels a tricycle has three wheels so a trinomial is an expression with three terms so it's an algebraic expression with three terms because tri means three like a trio um, so for example if you had x squared plus 5x minus 7 that is a trinomial because you have one term x squared two term is the 5x and then the third term is a negative 7 if you had for example x squared minus 7 that is not a trinomial because you only have one term and two term which is x squared and minus 7 um, if you had for example 10x squared minus 5x plus 72 x to the 10 minus x to the 7 right how many terms do you have well 10x squared is one term minus 5x is another term 72x to the 10 is a third term and minus x to the 7 is a fourth term so this is not a trinomial so a trinomial is anything with three terms in it and then lastly the last word we need to consider is this thing called or oh, i'll do it in yeah i'll do it in light green um it's this thing called um no green's not good let me do red monic right so the word monic means that the coefficient of your x squared is one so a coefficient of x squared is one so for example if you had x squared plus 5x minus 7 what is the number in front of the x squared the coefficient from the x squared it's one because it's one x squared so that is monic on the other hand if you had 10x squared minus 5x plus 1 the number the coefficient from the x squared is not 1 so this is not monic at all so combining these four words together we're trying to factorize so trying to write it write it in products like brackety brackety stuff we're trying to factorize a monic so in particular a monic quadratic so we're looking for quadratic which is x squared the highest power is x squared you can't have anything higher than x squared um, and in particular monic quadratic so we're looking at 1x squared not 10x squared and trinomials that's when you have three terms in your expression and not anything more or less than three terms exactly three terms so we're trying to factorize monic quadratic trinomials um, there's a certain trick to doing that and so let's oh let me show you how to do that using example one um, and one thing to note one key thing to note let me just change my colors back again to my usual colors back to black okay and one more key thing to note before i move on to um an example is that monic quadratic trinomials are usually in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c now what does this mean is that again look there's three terms so a x squared b x and then the single number c so it's a trinomial it's a quadratic because the highest power of x squared of x is squared sorry um and it will be monic because everything that we consider all the numbers in front of the x squared will be cons will be one for today's lesson anyway because if it's not monic then there's a separate trick to factorizing non-monic quadratics so uh, 